first, as we told you live at five, President Donald Trump signs an executive order to start building a wall along the Mexican border. And now at 530, we are hearing from one lawmaker who supports the move and other Rhode Islanders who are calling the order offensive. Iowa News News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now from the control room. That's new at 530. It's not just the wall that's making headway today. The president's order also takes away federal grants from sanctuary cities and states, another one of his campaign promises. The question is, though, does that include Providence and Rhode Island? <laughs> President Trump speaks to a crowd at the Department of Homeland Security signing new executive orders. We are going to restore the rule of law in the United States. One part would jumpstart construction of a wall along the entire length of the Mexican border. State Rep Bobby Nardalillo is a supporter of the wall. I know it's shocking. You're, you're seeing a politician to actually fulfill his word that he put out on the campaign trail. It's just a kind of a ridiculous showpiece that's a drain of resources and it's just kind of offensive. Mike Arujo with Rhode Island Jobs with Justice also took issue with what else Trump signed today. A plan to strip federal grants for so-called sanctuary cities and states. Some have described Providence as that, but the term has no formal definition. Some people say we're not, some people say that we are. But what's important are the policies and Providence has always been a sanctuary for immigrants and it will continue to be that way and in nowhere are we going to change our policies. The mayor says he'll wait to see the details. The governor also says they're reviewing the order for more information. We're not changing our policies in Rhode Island and we'll, we'll, he's on day two or three of his administration so we'll let it play out. Up north in Boston, Mayor Marty Walsh said he used City Hall itself if he has to to defend the immigrant community. On Eyewitness News at 6.30 over on Fox Providence, I'll go over how the president plans to define that term, sanctuary city. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.